Hey guys, so you guys are either going to hate me for this or, I don't know, be moderately appreciative. Um, but it's Mitch, or the Mitch Burns here. Um, I don't like that name, by the way, but that's a whole other story. Sounds very pretentious, if like, and I'm Canadian, you know, eh? So, wow. Uh, you know, we're not pretentious up here. Um, so, anyways... This month is the 20th anniversary of when you both decided you wanted to do something movie-related. Uh, putting your voices out there in the world. Um, it may even be disputed amongst some that you guys invented podcasting. I think we can all agree with that. This month is actually three years when I first began working for the Film Vault, or whatever I do. And obviously I love it. And I, uh, I love the TFE family that I've made and met, and I will do this job until the show's done, or, you know, we all die. Just a quick, funny little story. I started listening to The Film Vault in 2013, and around that time, you guys read the infamous Bill's Movie Emporium's <laughs> review of the show, and, uh, 23-year-old Mitch was uh, pretty pissed off because he loved you guys and thought you guys were the greatest show. So I went to my little movie blog at the time, The Hollywood Persona, and I wrote a nine-paragraph review praising the film vault. Logan ended up reading some of it on the show, and I was like, oh my god, my name's on a podcast? Wow. Uh, and I found the review today. I went searching for it. And uh, I will post it in the Film Vault fan group on Facebook. But all these years later, you guys are my friends. And I have your numbers in my phone, which is just bonkers to me. Uh, I've struggled with my mental health and stuff. And uh, you guys have both been there. And I love and appreciate you guys. It's uh, fucking weird that Anderson and I didn't know each other. And we had kids around the same time and both named our kids Atticus. Anderson, I know you hate praise, so you are going to grumble through this whole thing that I've made, obviously with help of so many people. And Brian, I'll uh, I'll just send you a copy so you can have it on a loop at bad time. Okay, thanks guys. Love you. I hope you kind of enjoy this. Jesus Christ. Where's my bourbon? <laughs> All right. All right, give me a 3 2 1. All right. Here we go, the very first and ever real beat. It's not movie beat, it's, it's real beat. It's movie beat tonight. Right. Real beat. you got to stick with real beat, because it's going to be real beat. It's movie, but it's movie beat tonight. All right, three, two, one. Hey, everybody. Movie beat. I'm your host, Brian Bishop. With me, as always, is Anderson. Real beat. Hey everybody, Superfan Giovanni here. Just want to congratulate to my favorite podcast on the 20-year anniversary. My favorite hosts, Anderson, Brian, my real favorite, Avery. So this February marks the 20th anniversary of the first time Brian and Anderson got behind microphones to record everybody's favorite film podcast, Real Beat. Unfortunately, we exist in the timeline where the show became The Film Vault, and Brian only collects DVDs and will not buy Blu-rays. Anderson loves every C-word robot in Marvel properties or Transformers, and then a week later pretends like he didn't like the movie he just gave a glowing review to. Other than that, the best podcast about film that exists. Even shocked you guys want to have me on after the pending litigation. For those unaware, I'm producing my own unauthorized biopic. 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 A uh, movie about the film vault. Don't yet have the boys' uh, approval. In fact, they've sent me some strong letters. If I proceed my film without consent, the unauthorized story of how superfan Giovanni created the film vault, they will sue me. Hopefully we'll work that out. If not, love you guys. Bye. This is Florence Bremer. To Brian and Anderson and to my friends at the Film Vault, thank you for telling me what to watch and what to avoid. Thank you for bringing movies to my attention that I would otherwise miss. Thank you for making me laugh. Thank you for including me on shows and letting me meet the best listeners in the world. Happy 20th. Here's to 20 more and 20 more after that. Love you guys. Wait a minute. The Film Vault. Oh, woo!
<laughs> oh my wow we might have a theme song hello happy anniversary anderson and brian this is tam smith from virginia long time listener and fan i am so ex- excited for you to have celebrated 20 years of doing this and i'm just thankful i was able to find the film vault all those years ago you all are the best and I am excited every Wednesday to, to listen in as a Patreon member. Congratulations. Clown's not there, Brian. It was there months ago, Brian. <laughs> I know what you mean by clown gone. What's he do? Where could it be? Anderson, Brian, this is Eric. I just want to pop in and congratulate you guys on 20 years of doing the film ball. I was actually kind of surprised to hear you guys have been doing this for 20 years. Because that's pretty, pretty nuts. I mean, talking movies is great, but talking movies with someone you mildly tolerate. Well, hey, you know, I suppose there's worse things you could be doing. But uh, I've been listening to you guys for about 10, 9, 10 years, somewhere around there. And I've loved you guys right from the jump. And then getting to know uh, getting to know Anderson, I've grown to love him even more. I met Brian a couple times. Brian, pretty cool guy. I'd say here's a 20 more, but I love you guys too much to uh, wish <laughs> to wish that upon you um unless you want it if you want to go for 20 more years and yeah, go for it but uh either way you, you guys are you guys are the best and i really love your show uh which is the one i assigned you, or you last assigned, time, okay last so time. last last week you assigned me oasis no i thought i'm trying to with yet another another oh, music documentary you son of a bitch how glorious. And having a tambourine first of all there shouldn't be a tambourine on the fucking stage brian why why would there be? A good, a tambourine's a fine instrument. Get out. Just get out. Just What's leave. What's wrong with tambourine? Go home. Go away. I, I am home. Happy 20th anniversary, gentlemen. This is Diana calling from Ireland. Hope you're doing awesome. Thank you so much for your service throughout these last 20 years. You've introduced me to so many movies that I would never have found otherwise. And it is truly a service. And I feel so lucky to be even a small part of the film vault history. Florence, you're killing it. Anderson and Brian, I feel so lucky to be your friends. Love you all to the moon. Happy anniversary. Congratulations, boys, on 20 years of successful pod. From the Orange Couch era to the birth of Cinema Dicks to the double near death of bald Brian. Congratulations on nearly two decades of excellence And I think we can all agree, I hope that somewhere out there, Mo is listening. Oh, and fire that piece of shit, Avery. Fucking waste of time. Waste of time. Like, this fucking family of gypsies pulls up stakes in a motorhome (laughs) and starts a cattle farm (laughs) next to And there's just miles of nothingness. And they are the- just like amid, amidst these literally like rolling, sprawling, empty hills. And, and we and, learn and, why. It's because he wanted to steal her beekeeping ways, but like he does it very so, shittily. Okay, so let me let me and ask it's you this. comical watching the juxtaposition of how she does it and how he does it. <laughs> <laughs> All his kids are getting stung. <laughs> This movie is one of the best comedies I've seen all year. I didn't realize it. I didn't realize it until just now. It's not funny until about half hour in. Hello, Film Vault. This is Ludwig Van Bacon of LVB Art. You know, it seems like only yesterday I stumbled upon the guy from the Adam Carolla podcast and the engineer from Loveline talking about newborn porn, and it's been nothing but joy ever since. Please keep on doing it for Van Gogh. We all love you very much. Hey, guys. Long time, first time. I was a junior in high school when you started the Film Vault, and talk radio was really not on my radar yet. But as soon as the podcast was live, I was already familiar with Anderson from Loveline and Bald Brian, the sound guy from Adam Carolla, who was from my neck of the woods in Northern California. Your uh, oil and water pairing, both in movie tastes, emotional range, and honestly just with each other in general, is uh, always made the show something special for me. Um, I did the math, and I've probably spent around 1,100 hours or 48 days of my life listening to you two in my head, and countless other hours watching movies suggested by you both. So, thank you for all the laughs and the insights. Please keep it up. And please give yourself a goddamn break for once, and one that doesn't include Brian in the ICU. Congrats on the 20 years, fellas. Pita Beta. It's lamenting Certainly. that. Anderson's had a couple. I have not. Anderson's I'm had not, a, I'm, not, I'm not drinking tonight. He's <laughs> not drinking tonight. <laughs>
Hey, Brian and Anderson, congratulations on 20 years of the Film Vault. I remember back when I was working at Westwood One and I, I would see you guys record diligently over on the studio. Just congratulations. Time flies really quick, really fast, but I really appreciate everything you guys have done for the past 20 years. The Film Vault is, in my opinion, on the Mount Rushmore of film podcasts you must listen to. So great job. A great thanks to Brian Bishop. Brian, thank you so much for all your years of dedication and teaching Anderson Cowan all the ins and outs of cinema. Anderson is a very good friend of mine, one of my best friends, and I, I'm so happy to know that he's gotten a, a ton, if not all of his movie knowledge, from your own uh, from your own brain. So, Brian, thank you so much for that. And finally, Anderson, I apologize. I, again, I'm going to keep on saying sorry about this. Congrats on the 20 years with you and Brian and TFV. But I'm so sorry. I will eventually get to watching, to rewatching the Terminal and Bridge of Spies. Okay, I know those are underrated and underseen Spielberg movies. Okay, I'm gonna call them like you want to call them, Mr. Spielberg, Mr. Steven Spielberg. I promise to rewatch Bridge of Spies and the Terminal again. Love you guys both. Congrats on 20 years of the Film Vault. For it, would, would you would you listen, Mo? Would, would you would you listen, Mo? Yeah, Film Vault. Happy anniversary, Brian and Anderson. 20 years of doing the Film Vault is an incredible accomplishment. I'm so proud and fortunate that I got to spend a good majority of my adult life sitting and listening to you guys talk about movies. I often joke, but it's actually true that I feel like I learned more about film listening to you guys than I did in a $30,000 film school. So thank you for the education. Thank you for all the knowledge. And thank you for all the good times. It's been a fantastic time getting to know you. I consider you guys both closer to friends than former colleagues. And I can't wait to see what you guys do with the show next because I can't imagine a world where it no longer exists. And I know that you guys are going to just keep doing it because you're never going to stop loving movies. So Film Vault forever. Hi, Film Vault. Jillian here. Um, super happy for you guys. Congratulations on 20 years. That's such an accomplishment. Um, maybe I should give it a listen. 20 years? Has it really been 20 years of the film vault? That is just absolutely incredible. 20 years ago, I can't even imagine where life was, where Brian was, where Anderson was, where I was. But all I know is that Brian and Anderson were together far before Christy and Brian were together. (laughs) And I'm so, so happy for you guys and so proud of you guys. And the fact that you have not repeated a topic even one time that you've always made the show work, come rain, come sunshine, come sickness, come health, come marriage, come trip, come no studio, studio, kitchen, garage, backyard, whatever it is. I've never seen two people so dedicated to a craft and something that they really enjoy doing together or just barely tolerating each other. (laughs) I'm just kidding. Um, It is a wonderful, wonderful pleasure for me to be sitting as a fly on the wall on most nights and hearing Anderson screaming from our kitchen, which really just means passion and excitement. And and I get it. (laughs) And I have to tell Tesla what's really what's really what's up. But in all seriousness, you guys are truly incredible. You were you had a podcast before podcasts were a thing. And the fact that you guys have made it together this far um, and you have such loyal listeners said so much, just not just about the show, but about who the two of you, of you are as humans. And I couldn't be more proud of you. And I love you both. All right. Love, Christy. <laughs>